Well, Row Butter. <laughs> it's me, the dude Tank Lit. Tank Lit! Tank Lit! And only push people around so long. You shouldn't bully people, bro. You grown up baby. What were you thinking, Robutter? I'm gonna make you grow up real fast, bro. Real fast. Real fast. Tank Lip. What were you thinking, Robutter, to fuck with Tank Lip? Tank Lip. Tank Lip. Robutter likes to instigate. Like the class clown that's never gonna grow up and get a job that pays. So causing problems in class is his idea of fun and play. Throws money around cause he's got it like that. Hangs around a lot of girls but never gets to eat their snacks. And loves to bully fat dudes cause he's always hated that he too is fat. Me? I think I love this track. How I'll take their god, you know Rope Brothers, and make him flat. Cause these lines define him. Unlike how he's never had abs. The more you beat him, the more he yaps. Kinda like those sore sports we've all known in life who never know how to take a loss. Me, all I do is lose. I mean, I wear permanent scars. On my body is so black and blue. Every time I meet someone new, they ask me when did I get that bruise. Most of them a long time ago. Just to answer questions. But if Ro Butter is God, let me just fucking tell y'all. When we die, everyone please know you don't all go to heaven. I mean 666. Ro Butter as if I didn't read the foreshadowing. And if this the valley of death, then he's probably behind all the trolling and shadowing. He likes to dish it when you don't strike back. But the second he realized Tank Lit is once again battling, he got real scared and took it back to school, you know, kindergarten, where child molesters like him like to take young girls to Disney, and when I threaten the cops to stop his whack ass, he resorted to name calling and ratting, and said out loud for everyone following, guess I won't be able to touch little kids anymore because Tank Lip is tattling. Listen, you pile of fattening and lard. I don't find joy unlike you in picking on retards, but like no means no when a lady yells to the perp, right? If I have to beat your ass in more than just one way to get you to stop, I will. And I heard the other day you saying you serve. Well, listen, bitch, one shot, one kill, and snipe. When I'm done with you, it won't matter whether you take the red pill or blue one. Because if Tank is the vessel that takes everyone through the Matrix, I've noticed when everyone was riding my dick, you were the only one who missed the bus. You've been a consistent hater. That's why that one day about six months when I was in your box, I asked you if you like me. And no, you GY pedophile, it wasn't to ask you to suck my cock. It was because I saw the writing on the wall of this day where I'd have to tell you to shut the fuck up. I'm sure Penelope wasn't your only victim. If Camille Toe wasn't so handcuffed by all your brainwash, she'd probably confess that she sucked your twat for five bucks. Guess that makes her a Camille Ho. And your toes as footprints, that prostitution is the only way, row butter, that you get girls. Me, I won't pay a bitch. I'd sooner have them pay me, and they have, to stay away from them and all the rashes you put on their ass. You slimy, STD-infested, power-hungry, throw-your-money-around slut that asks himself at night when he's all alone. What did I throw all that money around for? And feel sad because he's been so badly used and abused like the leader of the Rogue Bros is the biggest whore. Tune in later, y'all, if you want some more sauce on your god. Me, bro butter? I get it now. With all those STDs he got from y'all, he surely is a deadly fucker. <laughs>